Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have seen about the brief introduction of this Babel compiler, how the Babel comp what is a Babel compiler, and how it exactly fits in our uh, JavaScript front end development. We have seen. Now in this video, what we will try to see is we will try to see how the Babel compiles the JavaScript code into the older version of the JavaScript and also the different types of uh, compilers competitors that are available for this babel let's try to see in this video and the current version right now if you try to see the babel 7.18 at the time of this recording so the version of this babel we are using is the 7.18 so we can say it as a babel or some people will say it as a babel so whichever it may be so the name the pronunciation uh, matters so but we need to understand the concept behind this babel now if you try to go at the bottom and here if you try to see the user showcase so these are the things who are trying to use the babel so here if you try to see facebook cloudflare netflix these are all the different types of companies who are using the babel compiler now so these are all the different types of companies so that means so almost all the companies are using the babel compiler in their javascript environment now let's try to see how this exactly the babel compiler will convert the next generation javascript to the older version of the javascript and here at the top you will be able to see a link try it out now if i try to click on this try it out so here it will open the repl so repl so that is nothing but the interactive command line how you will type the node in the command it will open the repl right in the same scenario babel also has a repl now here these are the options that we need to that we will be setting for this babel in order to compile the code so first let's try to write the code here so when i am trying to write the code console.log let's try to write the console.log of hello okay now immediately so this one the comp the code is been converted here now let's try to say that i am using a const variable x is equal to 1 and i want to do the console.log of x so this is a simple code which i am trying to write it now if you try to see the code here nothing has been changed whatever the code that i have written it here it is doing so that means nothing is getting converted so what is the problem here we are having is so we need to set some default options here so at the time when we are opening this day babel so it will have some options and here if you try to see here is the target and it is not targeting the i11 so all the default browsers it is targeting and it is not targeting the i11 and also i mobile 11 so let's try to remove this one okay if i try to remove this one now immediately if you try to see the const variable has been changed to where now let's try to write a method using the ecmascript implementation okay so we'll try to do the greeting i'm having a simple greeting and it will do the console.log of hello okay so this is the basic thing now if you try to see here it has been converted into a browser understandable the older version of the javascript es5 so this is how we will be the this babel compiler will be working on the plane now now we will try to see the compiler uh, other type of compilers that are present competitors that are present so one is nothing but the google tracer so this is uh, when you remember when we are using this uh, angular js not angular angular js so the angular js in order to compile the code to the older version of the javascript it will it is using it will be using this tracer compiler now if you try to see this tracer compiler if i try to open so this is the array pool for this tracer compiler and here without writing any code if you try to see here the runtime the code what we will be writing it will be wrapped in a runtime function now let's try to write the same code here i am copying this one and i am trying to paste it if you try to see console.log hello so it has pre it has printed the same thing and i have took constant x is equal to one console.log so the same thing has been converted here and i am using the arrow functioning the latest es6 feature constant greeting is equal to like this and this one is converted like this okay now let's try to keep a comment something like this comment is important don't remove so i want to have this comment now if i try to see here the comments and all those things are removed in the tracer now if i try to use the 
what i can say the spaces white spaces between the white between line between the lines means so here there are no white spaces those are all trimmed off and the comment also has been removed in the compiled version of the code so let's try to do the same thing in the babel so if i try to take this one in the babel okay now here if you try to see the comment is there like this only now if i try to so i don't want to keep so many uh, white space so if i try to do this one okay so now if you try to see so the code so the code is maintained the comments and all those things are trying to maintain whereas in the tracer so the comments and all those things are tripped off and also if you try to see the code okay and also if you try to see the code so it is somewhat hard to read so it is wrapped in a something around the uh, runtime co uh, tracer runtime function it is wrapped the whatever the code and the code was written it here but whereas if you try to see the babel compiler so just it is using only the use strict uh, and the everything code is one and the same so this is about the babel compiler now we have another one another compiler so that is the not a javascript compiler that is nothing but a typescript compiler if you try to see about the typescript so typescript itself is not a compiler what i can say is it's a it's a language it's a superset of this javascript ultimately the typescript what it needs to do is it needs to convert the typescript code to the javascript so to the machine understand the browser understandable javascript code so that means typescript itself has, has a typescript compiler in this one so the typescript compiler now the, if you try to understand the typescript code is more focused on the language rather than the compiler but it also has a compiler so if you try to see here ripple so this is the playground for the typescript and here we are having some example so let's try to remove this all code and here i will write the same code something like this code only now if you try to see it okay now the code has been converted into the what i can say the same es6 code only so nothing has been changed so if you want to change it to the older browser es5 means so we need to go to the settings and uh, where it would be for example let's say the ts config not in the settings so remove this one ts config and target here is the 2017 is the target let's try to change it to es5 now if you try to change it to the es5 immediately the code has been changed so everything has been changed to where and also this function also has been changed to where so that means the whatever the code i have written in the javascript or typescript whatever it may be so it has been convert, uh, converted into the machine understandable so now this typescript compiler so now if you try to use the same code for example let's say that uh, we are using constant add is equal to so it will take something like uh, a plus b it need to return a plus b and here we need to have a variable something like a it is of type number so it is a strongly typed language we need to mention that a this is also type of number now this is the code so the variable has been converted into this one now if i try to take this variable and if i try to do it so automatically you will get an error that so this type of syntax is not supported by the javascript so in the babel we have a <coughs> a uh, preset option that is nothing but typescript so if you are trying to write the typescript the babel will convert this typescript code into the javascript here try to see so that's uh, this is all is a typescript code and it again it is converted into the browser understandable javascript code so the, the typescript compiler and the babel compiler is one and the same so the babel compiler uh owner i think uh, the co-founder stephen mckenzie i didn't remember exactly the name so they are having a close relationship with the typescript people also compiler so that so maybe in the future maybe the babel will be the only compiler for this typescript so may become or otherwise typescript compiler uh, will be having uh, will, will be having like that only so maybe the uh, discussions will go on so that the babel will remain the only compiler rather than the typescript compiler so the things will going on so right now the typescript compiler and the type babel compiler is the uh, is the different but tomorrow maybe the concepts will go on same thing like the ts lint and the es lint how the ts lint has gone so has deprecated and we need to use the es lint for the linting in the same scenario tomorrow typescript compiler also will go away or babel compiler so maybe vice versa so the things will go away so it will remain whereas the babel compiler has the lot of features available in this one and the typescript compiler is used to compile the typescript code into the native javascript code so this is these are the different types of comp compilers that are available in the javascript we have seen about the tracer which is the google's google one google compiler 
so this one used for this uh, long back javascript uh, for the angular js now this is the uh, uh, this is the babel compiler so which we will be using for the react view js these all things we will be using this babel compiler and we have the tap typescript compiler so which is used for the compilation of the typescript into javascript if you write the javascript also it will work it not a problem so this is all about the <coughs> code which we want to, which i want to explain the comparison between the different types of compilers available in the thing so in the next video what we will try to do is we'll try to see the installation of this babel how we can install the babel in our computer in our system and we will see how to write the code in our in our system hope you understood about this the comparison of these different types of babel if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you